What's going on guys, it's Nick Ralph because I was back with another video, man. So real quick, we're gonna talk about my top three reasons for why you need to have a business, right? For like every man and woman needs to have a business. Uh, some type of entity, you know, just something to set up, man, for protection, income, you know, whatever you need is gonna be, right? So first and foremost, it's obviously income. You know what I mean? You wanna have some type of income coming in from outside the job, man. You don't wanna rely on one stream of income, you don't want to lie on just that one thing is going to make you money. <laughs> you know what I mean? You never want to put all your fruits in one basket. Uh, you want to have, you know, you want to diversify. You know, it's not just a stock thing, it's a business thing as well. You want to make sure you have different avenues coming in um, to where something would happen on your job where you get fired, you can take something to easily scale up a side hustle. Um, like commercial cleaning, that's a side hustle that can, can be scaled up into a massive business. Um, lawn care, pressure washing, stuff like that. That's something that you want to kind of do, um, or whatever you're passionate in, you know, you're a woman and you want to do, um, let's say, art or makeup or do something that's popping, just like hair, right? You want to make sure you're doing that under an entity. You know, the second reason, um, if you're like myself, who's self-employed, you're not going to be able to qualify for um, a traditional mortgage um, as easily as you were if you had a job and tax returns, you know, stuff like that. What you could do is go to somewhere like the Bank of England and get a um, revenue-based mortgage, right? Which would take 12 to 24 months of your income. You know what I mean? And you take that and you can get approved for a mortgage that way. You need to have at least like a 680 um, along with that. You need to be able to verify the funds in which those, um, which the cash came from, right? So if you're self-employed, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can go ahead and, and file like that. Um, you can do that for three businesses. Um, you can take all your business that you have, uh, put the income together, and that way you'll be able to uh, qualify for a mortgage, right? So if you're trying to get a rental property, um, you can do it like that as well. Interest rate might be a little bit higher, but it's a means to an end, right? And last but not least is taxes. You know what I mean? Almost everything you do business-wise can be a write-off. You use your car for business to go out of town. Uh, you buy gas, it's a write-off. You get a business vehicle, it's a write-off. Um, products, expenses, you know, it all can be written off on your taxes. You know, it's a great way to save money, kind of offset, um, you know, a little bit. You know, if you have a job that's making a little bit above average, you know, you have a startup and you kind of lost money, um, or at least you put down that you lost money, you kind of offset your income from your regular job, right? Um, there's a lot of things you can do in business. I'm not going to go too in depth tax wise because I'm not um, any type of tax attorney or anything like that. Um, this kind of just a little bit of game that's, you know, sparks something in your mind to go ahead and, you know, try to put something together and figure stuff out. Talk to a real attorney who does taxes, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I just got experience working at Jackson Hewitt for like two years, but um, just really something that to get you, sparks something in you guys' mind, really the potential of having a business, right? But anyway, guys, it's Nick from Robert Gasol. Please like, share, subscribe. Have a good one.